And welcome back to the fourth and final quarter of the Blitz right here on KLBK. One of our personal favorites to cover six man football, always wild and a chance to see something you might not get to see in 11 man games. Tonight we venture to Southland where the Eagles were hosting Wellman Union. And it doesn't take long for things to get interesting. First drive, Wellman Union takes this one straight into the end zone, getting on the board because you don't know, get that two point kick, which is always a nice thing. Eight nothing is your score. Southland doesn't hesitate though, they answer. They do the same thing. This one is going to be a running play. Nice little toss into the end zone to tie it at 8 0. Nothing. nothing going for the Wildcats, though. Ball back to the Eagles. This one goes back and forth. Let's get an update on that final because it is a typical six man finish, Wellman Union, with a 70 35 win. Let's get some other 1A scores for you. Meta a winner over Anton. And it was Petersburg falling to Whit Harrell. So Whit Harrell's really putting together a pretty good program there once again. Ropes at O'Donnell, it was the Eagles beating the Eagles. Sterling City, no problem there with Hermley. That was a big loss there for Hermley. And uh, Bulldogs, a winner over Hart in that one from Amherst. And Motley County and Spur, look at this. Spur really does get the upset there because Motley County's been one of the top five teams in all of 1A. Let's take a look at some other games there. It was Loop, a winner over Cress. Jayton, they're another tough team, 58 to 8, no problem with Chillicothe. Klondike, a winner over Wilson. Sands falls to Whiteface. And Borden County, yeah, that's what we expected. 90 to 44, the Coyotes look pretty amazing once again this year. Cotton Center and Miami, they will play on Saturday. Another score for you, San Jacinto Patriots, winners over the Morton Indians, 63 to 8. Over to Lynn, Lena Stevens Field, where Lubbock Christian hosting the Sundown Roughnecks. First quarter we go, Eagles with the ball, Alex Timmons to Zeke Lott. Nice little pass there in the back of the end zone. That's good. PAT wasn't though, 6-0 Lubbock Christian. Same quarter, Eagles with the ball, deep in their own territory. Timmons gets sacked, he fumbles. The Roughnecks cover it in the end zone. For the touchdown, they get the PAT, and Sundown has that 7-6 lead. Late in the first quarter, Timmons gets sacked here by Nicholas Rodriguez. He would leave the game with an injury, but relax, Eagles fans. You've got a great backup here in Alex Lack. First play, he hits Lott for a quick touchdown slant. 12-7 PAT, no good, and Lubbock Christian goes on to win this one, 48 to 28 is your final. Let's go out to Wilson from last night. Kingdom Prep playing host to the Last Buddy Longhorns. Really like the helmets there by Kingdom Prep. Patriotic theme there. First possession. Warriors Aaron Gonzalez breaks down the sideline there and is gone. The two point kick and it's 8 0 Warriors. Ensuing possession for the Longhorns. They cough up the ball. Kingdom Prep does what they're supposed to. They fall on the ball. Second possession. Second play of the possession. And it's McKellen Bundy. He's going to motor right by the camera. It goes inside the last buddy five yard line. That sets up a touchdown catch for Jax Jonas. 16 0 Warriors. And the Warriors, mercy rule, last buddy in this one. 46 to nothing is your final score. Some other scores for you was Will Dorado. And that was a real emotional win for Will Dorado. Of course, they had a teammate pass away this past week in an ATV accident. They went 35 to 12. All Saints gets blitzed there by Lorenzo, 64 to 14. Leveland heading down to Andrews for this game and a slow start, slow first quarter there. Andrews, Marquise Lawrence makes a nice grab here. Gives Andrews a 6-0 lead. Leveland trying to get things going as well. You know, these games are usually back and forth between